dumb, cool, and weird podcast. Pod, 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 pod. Well, we'll say this, you know, um, as of late, you know, in the, the past like five years, I, um, it's been really hard for me to make friends with like new people, like new dudes, new guys, you know, because I think uh, men should be friends with other men. I think it's yeah. very healthy. And I used to have a lot of friends at one time. And over the years, it's slowly gotten worse and worse for me where I just don't have as many friends. And uh, I got some close friends, but I like it's just like um, things change and people kind of move on like. My best friends from high school, I don't even talk to hardly any of them anymore. The only person I talk to is my friend Anthony from high school. Yeah. It's still a close friend of mine, and me, even me and him don't really talk that much, you know. Um, the thing for me is is I, uh, I get worried about, like, the way things are going with men because what a lot of people don't realize is – if things keep getting worse and worse for men with depression and all that, eventually our society is going to collapse because yes, women are a good support system for society, but men kind of help keep society built together. Like we keep, we, well, we do the rough jobs too. It's mm-hmm. like, it's like you're saying, it's very rare when you see a female construction worker, not in the desk job and not in mm-hmm. sort of a, a management position. You know, you're talking about somebody who's probably working with the rest of the guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, my, my biggest concern is is that men are going to just start giving up on everything. And they're going to just say, fuck it. I don't I don't care anymore. And they're going to just not do anything, you well, know? And that, and that has to say a lot about what's going on in society because it does feel like every second of the way with the, the way things are these days, there's always people trying to put down just the regular – man yeah you know i mean they'll the promote just about anything and you know this is not to be offensive or anything but you know it's like just being a straight guy a straight man is our is, is already challenging because mm. you're just trying to you're just trying to go through life but everyone's like everyone thinks you're some kind of a problem mm. but most of these guys don't have problems with anybody you know it's like that's like your target for some reason from a lot of the yeah, most like really masculine, most most really masculine, straight white, or not even white men, just straight just, yeah. men in general. Um, I've noticed they kind of just keep to themselves a lot these days, and they really don't want to be bothered. Like someone comes up to them, tries to talk to them, they're like, uh, "I'm I'm good, I'm 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 gonna go now." You know, they just yeah. they just don't want to be fucked with. You know, um, I know I'm. I mean, I'm not straight though. I mean, I'm bisexual, but like, I know that when I'm trying to get somewhere, and people, men or women, try to talk to me. Um, I'll be nice to them, but for the most part, I, I'm just trying to get where I'm going, you know? Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm friendly. It's just like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's like, I just try not to, I just try not to interact with like other people at mm-hmm. times. Yeah. It's just cause I've got, I've got things in my head. I've got things to do and I got no sort of like time for it. It's like when I was at the, when I was at the school, right? Yeah. They are have a, it, I guess it was like national coming out day or something. Uh, uh-huh. and they, they tried to get me to come and support it. I'm like, I'm already out and proud. So it doesn't mm-hmm. fucking matter mm-hmm. about like signing some kind of book, mm-hmm. feeling special about things. Cause it's like being bisexual doesn't mean anything to me other than it's like just what I'm attracted to. Yeah. It's like, other than that, I don't feel like I have to associate with everybody. And it's like, and I know that when they were looking at me, like it was kind of like I was being a dick. Yeah. And I could tell, like, I could already see sort of like that negative, like that negativity when they're looking at me just because I'm like, I, I got things to do. Mm. I'm already doing my thing. I'm doing my thing. I'm comfortable with who I am. I don't got to hang out over here with mm. all of y'all. Yeah. So you were kind of already over it at that point. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, okay. I mean, for me, it's one of those things. It's like, it's not really special. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, I get it. You know, sometimes it's hard for people. It is hard for people to come out about that stuff, but it's like. You have to really go into your life and say, fuck you, if somebody says that they don't want to be friends with you for that reason. Yeah. I mean. Because they don't accept you for who you are, then you, you can't be friends with them anyway. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So, you know. If you want to check out more of our stuff, go to www.dumbcoolweird.com. You'll find our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon link if you want to support us. Also, be sure to check out our merch store. And if you're interested in being on our podcast, you can find a link 
on our website so you can reach out to us and tell us if you want to if you want to talk to us about something that's really weird dumb or cool we'd be glad to hear from you hope you'll stay tuned for the next weird ass episodes we got thank you